The first thing I'm going to have a look at is the humble onion. Now the home I'm staying at the moment, the onions are all very little, so we've actually got a whole heap of onions that we're going to use. And I'm going to show you some of the things that you can do with onion. And I'm, I'm very thankful to onion, it was the first poultice that I ever did. I was 26, my eldest daughter was 16 months old, actually when this happened I was 25, and she got an earache. And because I've been trained as a nurse, and I was interested in back to nature, being a hippie, but I didn't know what to do when the child was sick. So I went to the doctor. The doctor put Emma on antibiotics because everyone said, don't play with the ears, she'll go deaf. Do you know, we should never make decisions on fear. We should make decisions on fact. So, of course, I thought, I don't want my child to go deaf. So I went to the doctor who put the child on antibiotics because he said she had an ear infection. So... Within about 24 hours of being on the antibiotic, the, the earache settled down. The course lasted for five days. Within 24 hours of stopping the antibiotics, the earache came back. I didn't know what to do, went back to the doctor. Six weeks later, four courses of antibiotics later, the earache comes back. Now what's the definition of insanity? to do what you've always done and expect different results, but I didn't know what else to do. I was ignorant, as so many are. So I went back to the doctor. He's writing the fifth course of antibiotics, and I was really challenged. I said to him, one question, will my daughter be on antibiotics for the rest of her life? Am I coming to that conclusion? He was challenged by my question. So he said, Hmm, I'll give you a referral to an ear, nose and throat specialist. I went to the ear, nose and throat specialist. He looked in Emma's ears. He looked in Emma's mouth. He said, the child's teething. Give her these drops to keep the eustachian tubes clear. That was it. You see, our eustachian tubes are tubes that connect our eyes, our nose, our mouth, our ear. <laughs> I have since learned that wheat and dairy and refined sugar are three of the main causes of earaches in children. Let's fast forward. Two years later, child number two is about the same age. Child number two gets an earache. I do not go to the doctor. I went to the old lady next door. I was about 26 by now and she was 86. I said, what did your mother do when you had an earache? She said, mum would steam up an onion on the stove. So I went home, I steamed up an onion in the stove. When it was all soft, I wrapped it in a cloth, I put it on James' ear, James fell asleep, James slept for two hours. What does that tell you? He's not in pain. James woke up happy. All day, I'm following him around. I can't believe it. Can't believe it. Four courses of antibiotics, six weeks, and a two hour onion poultice. No wonder that experience set me on the path of natural remedies. So it's with great joy I show you how to make an onion poultice. So you steam an onion on the stove and you steam it like this. It's got to have that little core there which will hold it all together. Now steam it or dry bake it. If you boil it, so that some of the healing properties will go into the water. So steam it or dry bake it. And when it is soft, you cut it in half. And you cut it in half so that you're looking at the rings. And what you can do when you've cut it in half, remember this is hot and boiling, squeeze some of the juice into a teaspoon now that will be boiling, but when it's squeezed into the teaspoon, the cold teaspoon of course will cool it, and you can put that into the ear. And then you will wrap this up, and you can wrap it up with a, a, a tea towel, or a hand towel, a cloth, or maybe even a chucks. Now most onions are a bit bigger than this, <laughs> usually I would do an onion that would fit your ear. And so you, you wrap it up until you can bear that temperature. And then that surface area there, you would put straight on the ear. And then you cover it with a piece of plastic. What did they do before plastic? A square of wool, and you certainly, you're in New Zealand, the land of sheep. 
you can certainly use a square of wool. And then you might put a beanie on. Do you call those beanies, those little woolen hats? Or you might bandage it on. Or sometimes the person might lay down with that into the pillow. You see that? But you, if you can keep it warm, you keep it on. So as long as you can keep it warm, you keep it on. Now what will the onion do? The onion is a drawer and it will draw the inflammation, reduce the inflammation. It'll break down um, any pussy areas and that can be taken away from the, through the bloodstream. Sometimes it will do just that. It will reduce the swelling and that will be taken away through the bloodstream or sometimes the ear will make a hole and the pus will come out through there. Don't worry if that happens because if the body makes a hole in the ear, it'll easily heal. And how else does the pus get out? Now, if someone pokes a sharp instrument and makes a hole in your eardrum, you're in trouble. But if the body does it, the body knows what to do. You just got to give it the right conditions. How do you know what the right conditions are? Well, I knew this was the right condition on James because what was the result? He slept. He was in no more pain. Mm -hmm. See that there's some of your signs. The body will speak to you. So a cooked onion on the ear is one of the best things for earaches. How long do you need to keep it on? Well, as long as it takes. When it gets cold, take it off. If the earache returns in a few hours, put it back on again. <laughs> you just keep doing it until the body says enough. In fact, one of our workers, she wore an onion poultice for a week. <laughs> 